Jay Ackridge, Dean of Agriculture at Purdue University. It's the Purdue Ag Alumni Fish Fry. And what does this event mean to the College of Agriculture? I think it's just a great day to celebrate the college and all of our alumni to, to get back together to share stories with our friends and put a big spotlight on everything we're trying to do in the college. So it's just turned into, I think, a wonderful homecoming for alumni of our college. seven-footers, I mean, that's not exactly fair. I, uh, you know, and if I had any doubt about where I was, you know, uh, the, when, the, when the announcer before the game said, there's a 1997 John Deere 8300 in the parking lot with the lights on. 2015 class of Certificate of Distinction Award recipients. How many uh, graduates might be joining the ranks of alumni during this 14-15 school year? Yeah, so we'll probably graduate around 600 new students uh, this spring, and uh, right now the prospects look very good for employment. Uh, we've got uh, 85 companies that will be at our spring career fair next week, and that's up 20 from last year. College of Ag is undergoing a strategic plan. This is a strategic plan year. What's the importance of that? What's the process from here on out? Sure, yeah, it's, it's really critical for us to step back and take a look at where we've been and think about where we're going. And so we've been heavily involved in listening sessions around the state. We've got about 26 of those that are in process. A lot of work on our campus to take the pulse of our faculty and staff and really set down a vision for where we're going next. And, you know, for any organization, that's an important process. And we're really excited about, uh, about how it's unfolding. Talk about what the Purdue College of Ag offers those young people out there, younger than college age, who might be considering a career and maybe have never even thought about ag. Sure, I, I think most just don't understand the breadth of opportunities we see under this umbrella we call agriculture. I mean, if a young man or woman is interested in science, so we have opportunities to take that into the food and the plants and the animal space. If they're interested in business, uh, they can take it into the food or the inputs world. Farming, of course, is an opportunity, but even policy, regulatory areas, uh, communications, education, it's just such a broad area. And, and uh, again, it's an industry that's alive and vibrant, and, uh, and there's just uh, a lot of opportunities for any young man or woman uh, who wants to take a look and, and really make a difference with their life. And when you say any, you're talking about even those who have no ag background oh, yeah. whatsoever. Do you see much of that? Oh, yeah. About half of our students come to us with really no rural or rural farm background. So they're coming to us with you know urban, suburban, et cetera. And uh, only about half would be involved in 4-H and FFA. So we've got a great group that come to us from more traditional areas, but we've got about half of our students that come to us from very different backgrounds. Thanks for the time today. Have a great event. Hey, thank you, Andy. We're looking forward to it.